The process to recall Senator Dino Melaye by electorate from Kogi West Senatorial District began on Friday, June the 9th. The reasons for the recall of the lawmaker, some of the aggrieved constituents say, is based on non-performance. He has not brought home dividends of democracy. We have his co-senators in Kogi State, where we have Senator Gembe. He just got his mandate from, uh, from, 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 from tribuna, and when he got it, just in one year, he has empowered all his constituency. He has done a lot of youth empowerment projects, where we have our senator who has been there for almost two, for, for over two years now, and no impact. Instead of him to come and develop his people, in every other means he has capacity to do. Instead, he will be in the National Assembly shouting, making noise. And in less than two weeks, more than 188,000 signatures have been allegedly generated from the seven local government areas which make up the senatorial district. But in his reaction, Mr. Melaye describes the exercise as a comedy of errors. In his comment on Twitter, he says... Quote, it cannot succeed. It is a hoax and absolute comedy of errors. This comedy of errors will soon end. No shaking at all. End of quote. The constituents, however, say they will not be deterred as they go to our next office to submit the signatures in six bags. We are here this afternoon to deliver the message of our people as regards the move to recall uh, the senator representing our central district, uh, distinguished senator Dino Melaye. We took some documents inside. Uh, the constitution requires that we should submit a petition backed up with um, above 50% of the number of registered voters. Um, the collection of the signatures has been done, and uh, that is why that, those are the signatures, those are the documents and the bags you saw us taken in, and then accompanied with a petition. The Independent National Electoral Commission acknowledges receipt of the petition and has conveyed a letter notifying Senator Melaye of same. The electoral body also promises to issue a public notice stating the day or days, time, location and other details of the verification exercise on July the 3rd, 2017. But now the chairman of the Senate Committee on the Federal Capital Territory, Senator Dino Melaye, has sued the electoral umpire asking for a fair hearing before the process of his recall can be triggered, claiming that some of the signatures are fictitious. Many Nigerians will no doubt be interested in seeing the outcome of this process.